Hey Alex, I got some breaking news. Yeah, what's that? Honda has just unveiled a brand new Moto Campo, and I know that sound is you guys clicking out of this video, but hold on, it's actually cooler than you think. Yeah, it's totally not clickbait either. We've been talking about the Moto Campo revival for a while, and Case and I are really excited about this because we actually own the original 80s version of the Moto Campo, and Honda's bringing it back. Yeah, so the Moto Campo, of course, uh, well, I'll, I'll have you explain what it was and how you could get one, but basically it's a solution for the last mile, right? So let's say you're going to work and you park somewhere and then you got to go one more mile. This is what this is used for. But how was it originally introduced uh, by Honda? Yeah, so originally you really could only get these in Japan and you couldn't buy the bike from Honda. The Moto Campo was a factory option in a Honda City Turbo, a little hatchback they sold in Japan. And that's the only way you could get it was adding that factory option to the car and it came in the trunk of the car. And obviously as years went on, people started to sell them and collect them. So Case and I picked one up from a motorcycle auction website. Um, but yeah, there was no way to originally buy one just as the bike alone. Yeah, this seems to be the iMoto Campo. Uh, I'm looking at it because it's very white. Uh, and basically it's a sit down electric scooter that now of course uh, can be had standalone so you don't have to buy a car with it but as you know honda has introduced and acura two new electric cars uh, so this kind of makes sense yeah it makes perfect sense and the really cool thing about this being all electric is you can fold it up and then lay it down on its side in the trunk of a car whereas the old moto compo you wanted to keep it upright on its two wheels otherwise you'd make a mess of oil in your trunk this it's going to be a lot easier and yeah you should be able to fit it into any electric honda or acura that they make all right give me the specs how quick is it okay Okay, so top speed, not super impressive, 15 miles per hour, but I mean, you gotta compare it to the old one. The old one only did like 18, 20 miles per hour, so not bad. Yeah, that's not bad. Um, of course, um, it's much taller. <laughs> and wider than the old one. And I suppose that's because you have a battery that's hiding inside the thing. So what is the range? The range is 12 miles of range. And actually it's funny you mentioned the size because the old one, it's not comfortable at all. So hopefully this one being a little bigger um, will be a little more suited for full size adults. And as with all things electric, how long to recharge it? Three and a half hours and there's no fast charging or anything. You wouldn't expect that on this kind of machine, but just uses a regular 110 outlet and you should be able to charge up in three and a half hours and the charger is like a separate charging unit it's not on board on the vehicle so that should help save some weight all right now listen to this carefully front wheel drive rear wheel drive or two wheel drive front wheel <laughs> drive which is so odd on a motorcycle i've i don't think i've ever ridden anything front wheel drive so all right and what's the uh, output of the motor 490 watt peak output on the motor uh, battery size is a tiny little 6.8 amp hour battery and hopefully this thing is light and that heavy. It is super light, 41.3 pounds, and that is really impressive. The old one was like 99, 100 pounds, and still it was pretty easy to pick it up, load it into a car, but 41 pounds, anyone's gonna be able to pick this up. Now what makes this kind of an origami magical device is that it folds. So does this guy fold as well? It does fold a little bit differently than the old model. So the old model had these two thumb screws and the handlebars would kind of fold down. This one, the entire handlebar turns 90 degrees and then folds into um, the body of the machine. That's kind of why it's so narrow. And then the seat kind of picks up and stashes inside as well. And then there's a, a folding mechanism on the rear wheel too. And then you carry it like a suitcase you can there's carrying handles on it okay well that's pretty cool yeah uh, and uh, how much is it gonna go for because that's a big question it will be sold here in America because the old one was only sold in Japan it will be sold here in America which is big news it was actually designed here in America both in Ohio and in California and the price is the most impressive part nine hundred and ninety five dollars MSRP and it's gonna be available in November yeah, so I think we gotta get our hands on one of these. Yeah, we're definitely gonna we have, gotta, to, get we one have of these. to I haven't asked you yet, but I was gonna ask you right after this video. So. Yeah, for sure. I think I think you gotta get a hold of Honda and say, you know, raise your hand and say we want one of these. Uh, I do see a little bit of a headlight on the on, a, on it. So does it have a taillight too? It does have a taillight. Yeah. It does have a headlight. A little bit of a reflector there in the front as well. Um, this isn't gonna be like platable, so you don't have you know your standard uh, like horn turn signals. There's a little bell. Uh, Horn up on the handlebar there. Um, but yeah, it looks just looks rad. I want to ride it so bad. Hey, didn't you in case to a video to something similar to this a few weeks ago? We did. There's a, a brand called Ecoma 
Tatamel, I'm probably saying that wrong, so you can correct me in the comments, but they started um, a pretty similar design to this with a folding Moto Compo inspired design. Theirs is a little bit bigger, um, does you know a little bit faster speeds and is more expensive at around $4,000, um, but I think that's gonna be more of a road going vehicle and this is more of your first and last mile transportation. Yeah, the weird, like I said, the weird thing about it is like that shape, right? Because I'm sure you guys have seen the uh, you know scooters around town. You probably have them if you live in any metropolitan uh, city, um, and you know you rent them, but they're not like shaped like a big square white box. I wonder why. I wonder why they did that. Maybe that's where the stuff folds into. But those fold as well, right? You, on a regular scooter, you can fold the handlebars down. Mm -hmm. I, I know Tommy's had a bunch that you can just fold, and the and the and the little uh, handlebars also come off. So yeah, it I, seems like it seems like a lot of packaging. Yeah, they they had to make it boxy for it to carry that Moto Compo name, and they're actually calling this the Moto Compacto, which is another name that Honda <laughs> used for the original Moto Compo. <laughs> Pretty cool name, but they had to keep it boxy. Um, but. I was hoping it was gonna look a little more similar to the original Moto Compo. This is definitely styling taken to you know the modern level, um, but it still looks cool. And Honda showed uh, a bunch of different versions of this with different race graphics and company branding on the side. So uh, I so think that's why it's a big white slate. We could do a big TFL bike livery on the side of it if we wanted to. Does it have suspension, you know? I don't know, and if it stand. does, it's all hidden, so. Yeah, it's got a little tiny kickstand. Mm -hmm. And I'm curious how big those wheels and tires are, because they look tiny, but I couldn't see any specs on them. Yeah, and you know, the other thing we found, of course, driving the little tiny bikes, right, is when the uh, wheelbase gets very short, they get kind of very, uh, uh, I don't know, um, hard, harder to ride, basically, right? Because yeah. they, get, they get kind of squishy. Yeah, so I think that 15 mile an hour top <laughs> yeah, speed is a good, good yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah it's been the a, best. Ever been a short bike and you start doing this, the handlebars, and the whole thing feels like it's mm -hmm. about to snap in half? I think that's going to be an issue with this. Yeah, I think so too. But well, it's made for, you know, just cruising around around town. I would take this to lunch every day if we had one of these sitting in the office. And, and so. hopefully by November we will. So yeah. I'm, I'm excited, dude. Uh, yeah, I like your idea. We'll put a big TFL sticker on either side and uh, we'll have this as our our, as our lunch mobile. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, check out all of our videos over where? AllTFL.com, right there. Yep, and we'll see you guys next time. Ciao. What you have to do is you pull this panel off, then you can pop the seat down, and in order to fold down the bars, you just unscrew these two handles on the top. You can fold in the mirror. You do the same thing on this side. And actually, I've found that it's easier to fold down this side first so that your Speedo can sandwich right on top there. Then you extend your cover right here. You slot it into the body up front. And this is the only kind of funky part. Sometimes it takes a little bit of messing around to get that cover in place. But just like that, you have a folded up bike. That takes just a matter of seconds. It weighs 99 pounds. So if uh, it wasn't kind of an awkward thing to pick up, I mean, pretty sure I could shoulder press this bike. All right, let me uh, release the parking brake here on the Moto Compo and get it all fired up. Turn the fuel on and it's, uh, it's easier to get this bike kick-started if you have the foot peg flipped up because uh, that foot peg kind of gets in the way a little bit. You know, there's not a ton of suspension travel, so riding over bumps, you definitely feel it. Um, and yeah, at speed, it's a little squirrely, and it's also, it's, it's just not that fast. I mean, full throttle, 